Hi, this is Joe again with another review. And for the start of this video, I'm going to be discussing the 2015 movie uh, Creed. Yes, I'm actually just talking about a recent movie for us, which, which is sure a lot of you will be, you know, excited about. Uh, and, I'm going to just, and like I said, I'm going to be discussing the 2015 movie Creed, which is, yes, it's actually the seventh Rocky film, or at least the film in the, in the Rocky series. <coughs> and, I, and this was really still as Rocky, but it's kind of like more like a minor role. <coughs> the main character is uh, Mike, uh, Michael uh, Jordan, uh, or Michael B. Jordan, who, pl who played uh, the main character, and Don Adonis Johnson, and Donnie Johnson, this is called in the film, but actually his last name is actually Creed. Uh, because he's probably the son of Apollo Creed from, of course, who was played by Carl, the great Carl Weathers in, in the previous movies. Which, of course, is the major plot point, which which really kind of bothered me. It became, kind of became a distraction for, for, the, for the film. Uh, actually, uh, like I said, it, said earlier, Michael B. Uh, Jordan plays a uh, guy who most of the film calls of Donnie Johnson. Uh, which, you say his actual name is Adonis Creed, his birth name, he went by Johnson because it was his mother's main name, which we're going to get into in a minute. He was uh, a kid getting in trouble, and it starts over with him as a, as a teenager who gets bailed out of juvie by Apollo's widow, who in the, who in the film was not played by the original actress, it was actually played by Felicia Rashad from the Cosby Show. Uh, I'm not kidding. He didn't. I don't know if the original actress who played Apollo Creed's wife in the original Rocky series. I'm talking about he played the part of Rocky Two and Rocky Four. I don't know why they didn't bring the actress back to play Apollo's uh, widow in this movie. I I have no idea why. I don't know why. I don't know if she passed away or whatever the situation was. Uh, but they hired Felicia Rashad to, play, to take over the port and play the mother in this role. She bails him out, knows who he is, knows that his birth mother had died. His father left him, well, also wasn't, was not, wasn't around, so that's why he's in, also died, so that's why he's in foster care in juvenile hall, because we wasn't sure why he was in juvenile hall for, it wasn't brought out. He says, why don't you stay with me? It arranged that she adopted him and raised him. And of course, what happened, of course, was he was also decided to go into boxing because of who his father was. His father was Apollo Creed. So, he fought in Mexico. He fought, he had like 15 matches in Mexico and won all of them. But he felt he wanted to turn pro and make it on his own as a pro. And he knew that it wasn't, so far wasn't working out for him because he couldn't get matches or promoter or trainer in the United States because of who his father was. So that's why he was fighting down in Mexico. But he said, hey, go track down a guy who his father knew, whose birth father was, or biological father was, and it had to be, of course, Rocky Balboa. Once again, of course, played by Sylvester Stallone. And of course, in this movie, like in the previous one, Rocky Balboa, he was still running a restaurant called Adrian, an Italian restaurant called Adrian's. And unfortunately, most of the characters that was in the Rocky Balboa film uh, were not in this movie. It was just, just it was some sort of it was just Rocky and nobody, and nobody else uh, from either the last Rocky, uh, last from Rocky Balboa or any other previous films. None of those actors ever came back. Just, a, just. Uh, Sylvester Stallone. And originally Sylvester Stallone was not supposed to come back in this movie to play uh, Rocky. Uh, the producers, the screenwriters, to say, hey, let's bring, let's bring uh, Rocky back. And they found a clever way to bring the character back. And it's more, instead of Rocky usually being the main character, he was more like a side note and a, more, more like a, almost like a cameo. But it's like between a cameo and more like a guest, it was more like a guest starring role than a cameo in this movie. For, for Stallone. As a matter of fact, Stallone actually produced this film. But he didn't write it. 
or direct this film. So that's why this movie was maybe slightly better. But later on, we're going to get into the, the major plot point which I had the problem with. So at first, Rocky was reluctant to train him. I said, look, I'm not training anybody anymore. I don't even run the gym anymore. Which is true. Uh, even though technically, uh, Rocky still quote-unquote owns the gym. And it's kind of like a gray area in the film. And that, uh, because it wasn't really known. Um, um, I'm sure I say mentioned in the film if he had sold the gym. Or, or Mickey's gym or not. Uh, but it still had the name Mighty Mix uh, Gym. It was used practically throughout the whole movie series. But it wasn't mentioned if he was still using the gym, if he still owned the gym. Technically, his son owned the gym. And if we know in Rocky V, uh, Mickey's gym was willed or given to Rocky's son. And it was mentioned in the fifth movie, it was willed to his son. Because Mickey will, uh, left the gym in his will. Or well, Mickey's uh, will. He left the gym to Rocky's son. So, uh, but, but in this film, uh, it wasn't mentioned if the the, the gym was uh, sold or not. But it's definitely run run by a different guy. Uh, they, they, uh, Bill, Bill, I think it was. This guy Bill was actually running the gym and, ru- and running it and training people. But he wasn't training Apollo's son because he knew who he was. And he refused to train him because he was training this other guy who eventually does fight Donnie, the, you know, Apollo's son, later on in the film. But at first he didn't want to train him because he knew who he was. They was too green to to uh, work with him. He was too, too raw. As a, you know, too, he was a raw rookie. And that and didn't want to train someone who was that inexperienced. Uh, so Rocky reluctantly says, "Okay, give him some pointers," and comes back to the gym and gives this kid some tri- some uh, pointers. And he does do some, and Rocky does do some of the things that Mickey did when Mickey was training Rocky to fight Apollo, like chasing the chicken, which was used in the way back in the second Rocky film. But then eventually, he does get a couple of minor uh, fights. But then, of course, the problem, of course, comes when, when the middleweight champ was in England. He he didn't have a fight, but kind of like, it's kind of like almost like similar to what happened with the original Rocky film, where uh, Paulo's opponent uh, broke his hand and couldn't fight, and and, and so so of course Paulo of course trained Rocky. Or uh, pick Rocky to be his opponent for the heavyweight fight on January 1. This one was kind of si- similar plot point, uh, but they modernized. The other problem with this movie, they modernized it way too much. Uh, in this case, they had like a big, uh, you know, like, like what they do now with the, with the to hype a match, they had a press conference, and then of course the two fighters came to a fight in the press conference. They, they lured to this plot point in some of the earlier Rocky films, more notably in Rocky 4, plus also in, in Rocky 2 as well, when they had, when they, Rocky, the first two Rocky films, and Rocky 4, when they had a press conference with the fighter and the two fighters for that. That's what they did in this thing, but instead of that, the middleweight champ actually punched and broke his opponent's jaw, so casting the fight, and nobody else wants to step in because this guy, well, the middleweight champ was from England. It was too much of a hothead. So they found out that this guy named Donnie Johnson was actually Apollo Creed's son. So maybe he's against no variety of having to fight with Apollo's son. So they that's what they did. They got into this naturally not a heated confrontation, a press conference, hyping this fight. And so of course Apollo's son did get a couple of extra trainers. And one of the trainers happened to be the son of Apollo's trainer. Uh, the reason why Apollo's trainer was played by <coughs> Tony Burton was not in this film because I think he just died the year that this movie came out. I think he died the year or or the year that the, that the movie was being filmed. He had he had passed away. So they had to come up replace the cat replace him because he 
like I said, he passed away. So he, so they hi, hired a guy to play uh, Apollo's train his son. You know, to, tra to train this guy, to train Apollo's son. He had Apollo's train his son to, to train. Him. And so of course he had to to fight, of course, and Apollo's son, unfortunately. Uh, I know I'm giving the major spoiler that the son, unfortunately, he lost the fight. He had some good com you know, comebacks in the fight to come back against, against the champ. But unfortunately, he uh, lost. He took too much of a beating and, and lost. Uh, on, he lost on points. Because the, the champ was way ahead on points, but Paul Creed's son, Madani, fought back and, you know, made, made it more... A little bit more of a respectable match, but was the match really wasn't even really that close, and that's pretty much how the uh, movie went. But, but I'm unfortunately, I'm leaving something out. During the during the training, when Rocky was training Apollo's son, uh, it was came out that Rocky was diagnosed with cancer. He had not non um, non. Hoskins and the former, which is like, and and he was reluctant to go through chemo because his wife Adrian died of cancer. It was it was mentioned in, in the crappy Rocky Balboa film that she had died of cancer and went through the chemo and unfortunately it didn't work. And said so he says to the doctor, look, it didn't work for my wife. What makes you think it's going to work with me? And the doctor says, look. Require it early, so if you go through the chemo, it would, it would save your life. Go through the treatment, it would save your life. And he said no. And uh, Paulo's son found out, when Donnie found out, hey, I fight if you fight the cancer. And I'm going to pull out the, I'm gonna pull out this fight because you're not fighting. I'm not fight. I don't fight if you don't fight. So I says, okay, I fight. And, fight, and take the treatment, and so you saw him going through the, you know, cancer treatments and everything else. But by the end of the film, it wasn't known if Rocky it was Rocky's cancer. Or Rocky beat the beat his cancer. Uh, it wasn't mentioned, but it wasn't mentioned by the end of the film or not. Of course, and also in the end of the film, when they walked up the steps together at the famous art museum in Philly. And of course, the, of course, the problem with that is that Rocky still has not gone. To, he still not not seen Rocky physically inside the art museum. They did that bit in the fifth movie with his with his son, Sage Stallone, who unfortunately, of course, died of um, drug overdose. He takes him into the museum. Or, or Rocky's son, Rocky Jr., takes Rocky into into the art museum, and that's when that's how the fifth movie ended. This technically should have been the last Rocky film, but now we got the, these other two. Uh, so of course at the end of the film he wa walks Apollo's son up the steps. So I can't believe that you used to do this. Wait, when did you first? And of course Apollo's son was asking, "Why did you first start doing this?" And of course he also asked questions about their uh, relationship with Rocky and Apollo. He was asking questions about their relationship, how you became friends. Uh, was it true that this happened? Was it true that that was? Was it true that you became friends? That he talked with you in the gym and convinced you to, to come back and. And fight again. He said, "Yes, yes, that all that stuff is true." We had a third fight behind closed doors, which was the, the end scene and the opening scene, the end scene of the third movie and the opening sequence for the fourth film. And see, and Rocky says, "Yes, it's all all that stuff is true," and, and all this type of stuff. Uh, but for the most part, I actually generally liked the film. And also, one character I should mention, uh, the girlfriend. That I forgot who played the girlfriend that uh, Paulo's son came infatuated with, and there is a, a, a sex a, a sex scene in here, a love scene in it, which unfortunately was never you never seen a love scene between when well, you seen love scenes between Rocky and Adrian, but you didn't see an actual scene when they're having sex. You know, in the in the you know in the first five Rocky films, you never saw him actually physically having sex. That's makeout sessions. Uh, that's them, ki you know, hugging and kissing, and that's where the scene usually ends. It usually ends with the two of them hugging and kissing, and that, and that's it. And they cut the scene off. Uh, this time in this movie with Apollo's son and this girl who was a neighbor, uh, actually physically had 
a sex scene in this film, which just kind of threw me off because they never had one in a Rocky film before. Well, now since I uh, pretty much go on the film, I, I did actually enjoy the film, considering the major plot point, which I'm going to bring up in a second. Um, but for the most part, I thought it was a very good, entertaining film. Not the, not the, not the best film in the series, but it's definitely better than maybe the last two Rocky films that came out. It's, slight, it's slightly better than, than those. Than, it's definitely better than, than Rocky Balboa. Definitely. Uh, so now we're going to get to the major plot point problem that I had with this film. Uh, like I said earlier, Donnie Johnson who was played by Michael B. Jordan, who. If you happen to be a fan of all my children, you know, the former soap opera that used to be on, on the ABC television network, he, the character who played Apollo Sutton, used to be on All My Children. He played the character name of Reggie in, on, on, on All My Children. But that's not the plot, the plot point I'm going to bring up. The plot point I'm going to bring up is the fact that they modernized this movie so much that. They sh what they should have done was, because anybody who knows anything about the Rocky films, like I do, and, and check out my review of the Rocky movie series, which I've which I previously done uh, on YouTube. Please check it out if you haven't seen it. Uh, the, problem, the problem was that if you've seen the Rocky movies, in the second movie, in Rocky 2, there was a scene with Apollo with his two kids. There was Apollo in his house, and you see, and you see, um, not only his wife, Apollo's wife, when you see his two kids, which, never, which they weren't introduced in the first film, but they're introduced in this movie. And the two kids and two boys were laying in the house, and the mother said, hey, stop, you know, stop laying in the house. And Apollo was standing up like on a balcony, meaning hate mail to his, some of the hate mail he's gotten from what happened in the first movie to his wife. And his wife says, why don't you rather be playing with the children than reading hate mail? Uh, but you know, the only time you saw the two kids in the third movie, in the next film, uh, Rocky Three, Apollo mentions that after when Rocky beat him, he said, "Hey man, after you beat me, I want, I didn't want to talk to anybody, not even my kids." So, he, so the kids were established in those two films, but you physically saw Apollo's two kids in the second movie. Now, instead of using those one of those two kids as Adonis. Creed, in this movie, in in the movie Creed, they took an illeg they made a, they made one of the kids illegitimate from an affair that Apollo had with somebody, which you, it wasn't even established because that woman was you know killed off just before he had the fight with Drago, which was of course played by Dolph Lundgren in Rocky IV. That was the opponent who killed Apollo in the fourth movie. So at the time, uh, or before then, Apollo had an affair before he had fainting for, for, to fight the Russian. In the fourth movie, he had an affair with somebody and she was pregnant at the time that Apollo was killed off, or, or Apollo's character was killed off in the fourth movie. I mean, I mean it sounds crazy. I mean, this is a crazy plot device. Uh, I, think the, I think the reason for that is because of the two kids they mentioned they were featured in, w in the one scene in Rocky 2 <clears throat> they might have been too old because they would have been in, probably in the 40s by the time they got them out to make uh, Creed so they figured okay let's make an illegitimate kid and make him about 30 instead of 40 and make, him like, make this kid like 10 years younger so that's what they uh, unfortunately that's what they did they made a stupid idiotic plaque device and saying that he was the kid was born after Apollo was killed by Drago in Rocky IV. So of course they made the kid about almost 30, tw 29 or 30 years old for this movie. Because this movie came out, like I said, at the top, came out in 2015. So it was, that, there was such a, dis a distracting plot point that uh, it kind of almost ruined the movie for me. But, but if you ignore that annoying plot point, a stupid plot point, uh, the, mo the movie is enjoyable, it is watchable, it is an over two hour movie. But, but I feel that it is pretty good, it's pretty watchable, and it's a decent entry. Uh, is it the best one in the series? I'm just saying no. 
Uh, I think Rocky 1 and Rocky 3 are definitely the two better films in the whole series. Uh, I'm only mentioning Rocky 1 because they won the Oscar for Best Picture. And of course Rocky 3, I, I consider Rocky 3 to be the best one in the whole s series. Uh, personally, I say, I say Rocky 3 and Rocky 1. Uh, in that order for, as, as the best movies. And of course the other movies trickle down as they get worse. But Rock, uh, Creed is definitely better than Rocky Balboa. So I actually just everybody to watch, to watch Creed. But like I said earlier, he has that annoying part to voice by having this kid being an illegitimate son of, of Apollo Creed. Now, Apollo had an affair with somebody before he went into training against the Russian and I guess Ivan Drago and the woman he and he knocked out this woman before he had the fight and the kid was born after he was killed by Ivan Drago in the ring in the fourth movie. And I thought that was really stupid. They should have had one of the original kids uh, as you know, the main character in this movie instead of an illegitimate kid. So they modernize it. Oh, you can't, you can't oh, a black guy can't have uh, a legitimate kid with his wife for 30 years or whatever he, whatever how long he was married to his wife. He, you know, in the series, it wasn't established how long he was married before he, before Apollo died. Oh, we can't have a, a, a legitimate kid. Let's make him illegitimate. Uh, which was a really stupid and annoying. They, they really pissed me off, pissed me off how they, how they established this kid instead of using one. And in this movie, he never knew what happened to the other two kids. They were never mentioned again. And it was like also implied that this is the only kid that Apollo had. And they totally ridden out the other two kids that Apollo Creed had from Rocky Two. I mean, they totally wrote those two kids out. And there was another thing that pissed me off because they never mentioned what happened to Apollo Creed's other two kids. Never mentioned, and they didn't mention what happened to Rocky's son, Rocky Jr. He was supposed to be living in Canada with his girlfriend in Vancouver, in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, with with his girlfriend. So, so, and, and another thing that took me off is that they didn't bring Apollo uh, Rocky's son back when. when Rocky was diagnosed with cancer. They didn't call the kid, uh, you know, Rocky didn't call his son saying, hey, I'm sick with can hey, I'm got di I just got diagnosed with cancer, just like your mother. Uh, they didn't bring the kid back, you know, to take care of the of Rocky when he was sick with cancer and taking care and going through the cancer treatment, going through the chemo. That didn't happen either in this movie. I mean, if, they, if that happened, I'm sure the movie would probably would have been like 20 minutes longer if they did all that stuff. Bring Rocky's kid in. Or bringing Apollo's original kids in and mention them in that movie. They didn't mention uh, Apollo's uh, Apollo's other kids in the movie at all. They didn't mention them at all, which which take me off. And they did bring in like a little animosity between Rocky and Apollo's widow, saying, "Oh, he he didn't throw in the towel. He let my husband die in the ring." They did they did address that a little bit in the film, but they didn't explore it enough in my eyes. So that, so that is my review for the movie Creed. Please click on the video, please read it, feel free to comment, please subscribe to my channel, and please forward this video onto your Facebook pages. You can check out all my videos, not only on my YouTube channel, but rallyc.com, that's all W-D-Y, rallyc.com. There's a homepage of the Rally Reviewer, Chris Lee Moore. Please check out all of his videos, his TV trash, videos plus all of his other content on his website. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.